you have goals you want to pursue in life, then to help you achieve them, it's useful to put in place a planning process. So in this video, I'm going to break down a highly effective planning process that will help you focus on your goals and avoid distraction. As part of this, we cover the Tony Robbins rapid planning method. I've implemented this process in my life and frankly speaking, when I first came across it, it shifted my perspective on how I go about trying to achieve my goals. As not only did I find I would end up putting needless focus on areas that didn't necessarily serve a clear purpose or deliver results, but that would in turn take my attention away from those things that I needed to focus on instead. What's really important to understand here is this process takes more time than simply writing a to-do list, but ultimately in the long run will help save time and effort as you identify where you need to focus. Now just a heads up, later in the video I will summarise the key points of this process to help you have a clear structure to take away and apply, so be sure to watch until the end to get the most from this. So let's not waste time and break down the key elements of the rapid planning method, starting out with the three fundamental questions you should always ask yourself when trying to pursue a goal, with the first question being, what do I want? Knowing your outcomes as part of your goals are fundamental in order to achieve them, as if you don't know what you want, how are you able to reach them? Therefore, it's important to go through a process of asking yourself, what do I want? I'd suggest writing it down on paper so you can articulate it in the most effective way, but equally, because you can start being specific in clarifying your goals. The more detail you can offer, the greater clarity you'll have. So let's say you want a better salary, then rather than saying the outcome I want is to earn more, it's more effective to say I want to earn 50,000, or 100,000, or why not, a million each year. By doing this, you put into perspective what outcome you're working towards, it gives clarity to the goal and even more so, gives you a more tangible result to work towards. It's not limited to just financial goals either. Rather, this process is designed to help you try and maximise how you use your energy in all areas of your life, so that you can have a well-rounded life that's meaningful and valuable to you, something we'll be delving deeper into later this video. So once you've gone through the process to writing out your outcomes in detail, with specificity to help you understand precisely what you're working towards, you can move on to the next question, which is, why am I doing this? If you've watched the content on this channel before, you're probably aware of the importance I place on asking why, when finding meaning in life. Not only is this critical to understand your motivation for pursuing what you do, but fundamentally, it can act as the greatest driving force to achieving your goals. Here's the principal point to understand, purpose is more important than objective. You see, saying I want to earn 100,000 a year identifies what you want, but the money on its own will not provide the stimulus to help you achieve that outcome. So here, you want to clarify why you want to earn 100,000 a year. Is it to buy certain things that you've always wanted, or maybe you want to invest towards something? Maybe you want to provide a better standard of living for yourself and your loved ones? Whatever it is, understanding why is fundamental to staying focused and achieving goals. It will also be the driving force that keeps you on course when things get hard, or you're finding that you're getting distracted from the course. And I'm not just talking about a mission statement for the long term why, rather it's important to break it down to understand why you do individual tasks. The reason this is critical is that while the long term why will keep you focused on the long term goal you're targeting, the short term why will help you focus and stay motivated on incrementally building towards that vision. So in this step, on the paper where you've written your outcomes you're working towards, you want to add detail as to why you want to achieve these outcomes. What's your purpose and again, go into detail. This leads us to the third and final question, how can I do it? Tony Robbins describes this as a massive action plan, or MAP for short. Simply put, you might know your destination and why you want to get there, but without a MAP to guide you, getting there isn't going to happen. This MAP needs to be the steps you need to take towards achieving your desired outcome. What do you need to do, why do you need to do it, and how will it help you achieve your outcome? These are all things we need to consider when thinking through how to achieve your goal. And here's the critical point about your map, you might make some wrong turns along the way. Don't let this stop you, rather adjust and change your map, 
as it's part of the journey that all people have to go through. There's not a single person that's perfect, and so it's inevitable we make mistakes along the way. But our capacity to learn and adjust as necessary is why we're able to progress and come as far as we can. So put simply, create a plan, execute that plan, and if you don't hit the desired result, adjust the plan and repeat the process. In this step, go back to your paper where you've written your outcomes and purpose, and this time, add your map. Don't just write high level actions, rather break them down into individual tasks. When you've done this, review what you've written, because what you'll find is you've written a clear guide on how to achieve your goal, one that you can execute and if it doesn't work, adjust and improve. It's a framework to success. Now, if you remember I mentioned before, the whole point of the rapid planning method isn't limited to just one area of your life, but rather something you can apply to all aspects. To do this, you need to apply chunking. The thing is, our lives are made up of numerous components and it's easy to quickly feel overwhelmed if you're trying to improve all areas. That's where this concept of chunking comes in. Here you want to try and break down the different aspects of your life to best understand which areas to focus on. So for example, the initial breakdown might be to identify your personal and professional life, and under each you factor the areas most important to you. For example, under your personal life it might be your health, relationships and activities you do for enjoyment. In your professional life, it might be how much you earn, your skill set, and your results. For example, if you do sales, then how effectively do you sell? Now, what's critical in chunking is you want to make sure that you find a good balance of having clarity without going too deep. The reason is, if you don't have balance, you'll end up overwhelmed. Let's say you overchunk and thus go into too much detail. The problem here is you'll find there's too much for you to try and tackle, and when we feel overwhelmed in such situations, we end up not taking action at all. However, equally if you underchunk, you'll find due to the lack of specific detail, it's hard to have clarity on the outcomes you want. Effectively by overchunking you tyrannise yourself, while underchunking will bring chaos, so finding balance is key. Once done, you can create your wheel of life. Your wheel of life is effectively taking the areas of life identified in chunking and putting them into a circle, as you can see on screen now. For each area, you want to rank how well you think you're doing from 0 to 10, where 0 means you're not achieving your outcome at all, whereas 10 is you've hit it as effectively as you can possibly imagine. The thing is, for most people there will be areas they're doing well in and others they're doing less so. The ideal is to try and reach a point of satisfaction in all areas trying to make for a balanced circle in the wheel of life. And how do you achieve this? It goes back to the three questions to identify outcome, purpose and map. For each area of your life, it's valuable to go through the steps we outlined earlier, producing and documenting the outcomes you're working towards, understanding why you work towards them and how you plan to achieve them. So let's summarise the process. First, go through a process of chunking your life and all areas you want to focus on. Next, for each area, identify the outcomes you want. Then, for each outcome, identify the purpose why you want to achieve this outcome. And finally, for every outcome, create a massive action plan to help you achieve that outcome. However, critically don't forget, if at first you don't succeed, adjust your plan and try again. Hopefully this breakdown of Tony Robbins' rapid planning method is of value and will help you not only focus on your goals, but set you on your way to achieving them. If you found this video of value, please let me know in the comments, leave a like and share this with others who may benefit from it. Thanks for watching.